Hey guys, this is Mark. We have reached the very end of our journey through the user management functionality in Backendless and nothing would represent the, uh, the end of this journey as a lecture on the Logout API. In here, I will demonstrate how Logout works, but conceptually, uh, now that you know how login works in Backendless and that a user token is created or a cookie is assigned, Logout terminates uh, user session invalidates user token and validates the cookie and once logout is done any subsequent calls with the same user token will fail and technically once a user is logged out you really supposed to terminate the session and move the user back all the way to uh, the very front uh, set of screens of, in your application could be login or whatever so here i have extended uh, one of the pages that we have used throughout this course which is a page where we get a random picture from the server for a logged in user and uh, i added this logout button in ui builder let's program this button and see what happens once we uh, do the logout when we click it so let's go into the functionality the logic for this button and in the on click event you will see that in the users api there is a block uh, that is right here logout current user so this will trigger an API call that will invalidate user session and validate user token and validate the cookie if the cookie-based authorization is used. And that's it. That will be the end of that user session. Let me run uh, this sequence of pages. It starts from this landing page. And uh, let's experiment and see what happens. So let me log in into my app. We have this page working, so far so good. Uh, the user is logged in. I will open the network traffic because it is always uh, useful and actually fun to see what goes on the wire. So here, when we make a request call, this is the request that goes to the database. This is a request that fetches the file. And uh, once we do the logout, here's the logout API. It was sent to the server. There's really no response, the server just uh, disconnected the session and now if we try to make an API call again then it fails so the find request the response returned uh, uh, an object for the reason that requests to that table are not protected to uh, authenticated users here that request works fine request works fine but when we try to fetch a file uh, we get an error back that the user has no permissions for the specified resource for the reason that that cookie is no longer there. The session has been terminated. And that's what the logout does. It just terminates the session. Very simple. Logout is available in UI Builder. It is available in Cloud Code. It is, of course, available in all our SDKs. And as well as uh, there is a REST API call to, to, do, to do the logout. And with that being said, we're done. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for staying with me throughout this course. It's been a pleasure. I've had a lot of fun recording these videos and I hope you got a good understanding of how user management works in Backendless. Thank you for watching guys. And as always, happy Backendless coding.